Trips are priority anytime there's extreme weather is keeping all of you at home safe. So here's what you need to know about this powerful heat wave. The peak of the heat is Tuesday through Friday, and I think specifically Wednesday and Thursday. That's when we see our hottest temperatures and our highest heat indices. Heat indice, of course, is a measurement of the temperature when you factor in the humidity. And I think most of these afternoons, a lot of us are going to be flirting with feels like readings over 100 degrees in the afternoon, and there's not going to be too much relief at night. That's the big thing about these heat waves. You get hot during the day, but there's not much relief to cool off at night. So here's just keys to keep in mind. Limit your outdoor exposure to the morning and the evening. You want to watch your pets and those in vulnerable groups. Wear lightweight clothes. You don't want to add extra, any sort of extra heat to the body. And always stay hydrated. In this type of situation, better to stay overhydrated than underhydrated, even if you don't necessarily feel thirsty. So here's what the setup is right now. This warm front is basically the door that is allowing all this heat to move on in. And it's this dome of heat that is parked right now, the center of it off towards our south. But over the next few days, the center is going to be focused right over the northeast. And that's when we're going to have our peak temperatures. Right now, a little bit of a murky look outside as some clouds move overhead. 75 degrees on our Fryhofer sky cam, but as we check out the airport, sitting at 79 feels like is higher than the temperature. The reason the humidity is starting to climb, dew point at 63, winds coming out of the south, so this is ushering in that southerly wind. It's ushering in the much warmer and much more uh, muggy air mass that is filing in as we speak. So it's 79 in Albany, 79 Middleburg, up to 82 in Utica, and 74 degrees in Glens Falls. So we're in the upper 70s right now, but look what the temperatures are off towards our south and west. Already 85 in Little Rock, 88 in Nashville, 92 at this hour in St. Louis. All of these temperatures are going to be heading in our way, and the peak of this heat, again, is coming during the middle portion of the week. Same story with the dew points. In the 60s, which is already pretty muggy, but when you get near 70, that is just oppressive type air, and that, again, is also going to be heading in our direction as the center of this heat moves overhead. So today we'll call a transition day. This weekend was so comfortable, very pleasant. Today it's going to be so mid to upper 80s, to perhaps right around 90 degrees with a muggier feel and, of course, a warmer feel. How about the temperatures the rest of the week? Well, we're in record territory 96 Tuesday 98 Wednesday 98 Thursday is the forecast all of which would flirt with a record if not easily break it a day like Wednesday but don't focus so much on the actual temperature what it's going to feel like is what it's going to what, what's going to matter today peak afternoon it's going to feel like between 90 and 95 degrees Tuesday 95 to 100 and then as I mentioned the brunt of the heat looks Wednesday and Thursday this is what it's going to feel like on the skin outside during those peak heating hours, potentially throughout many valley areas, up to 105 degrees by Friday. Maybe slowly we start to cool on down, but still oppressive type numbers. So it's not just the magnitude of the heat, but it's the duration. It does look like finally the bulk of the heat's going to shift off, or I should say the brunt of the heat is going to shift slowly off towards the south, but this is going to take some time. It's not just going to be a clean cut from these hot temperatures to comfortable temperatures. I think we'll slowly wash it away with more clouds and some showers this weekend, and finally we'll get some bigger relief, I think, by next week. This afternoon, we are heating on up 85 to 90 degrees, mostly sunny, breezier, warmer, and muggier. Tonight, not much relief, 65 to 70 degrees, and that will be a launching pad to get us into the 90s tomorrow, 91 to 96, very hot and humid. And again, that's the actual temperature with the humidity feeling closer towards the t triple digits, not just tomorrow, but Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And notice towards the weekend, we start to get those shower chances rising.